One of the things that you learn pretty quickly in a Greek class is to tell whether you is you singular or you plural. Now, there are times where it doesn't make a whole lot of difference, but there are some verses where the distinction is really critical, and this is one of them. In 1 Corinthians 3.16, he says, Do you, plural, not know that the temple of God, you, plural, are, and the Spirit of God dwells in you all? Again, plural. So while Paul can use the image of the temple of God as of individuals, and he will later on in 1 Corinthians, here it's plural, and he's talking about the church, okay? It's interesting to see how the different translations handle it. CSB, don't you yourselves, there's the plural, know that you are God's temple and that the Spirit of God lives in you. ESV, do you not know that you, in the footnote, the Greek for you is plural in verses 16 and 17. NRSV, the footnote goes down at the bottom. The NIV is pretty stylistic in how it does it. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in your midst? The NLT says, don't you realize that all of you together are the temple of God and that the spirit of God lives in with the footnote among you? And the Net Bible, in normal fashion, uses a footnote, do you not know that you are God's temple? You are God's temple, the footnote says, refers here to the church, since the pronoun you is plural in the Greek text. So this is something that you can learn pretty quickly in Greek or in Greek for the rest of us, is how to tell whether you is singular or plural. On perhaps though a more important note, it's, I wonder what church would be like if the church actually understood that we together are the temple of God. I wonder about gossip and slander. As I've often said, it's the native language of the church. It's absolutely everywhere. Almost every day I hear us stories of someone slaughtering someone else's reputation. It's murder, all right? It's the murder of a person's reputation. And I just really encourage you, if somebody is talking about someone else who isn't present to defend themselves, you just say, you know, I'm not comfortable with you talking about this other person because he or she's not here. I wonder what would happen if we actually went directly to the people and treated them with the dignity that a member of the temple of God deserves. I wonder if we really understood that we were the temple of God, whether people would think that discipleship is optional and that it's just really for the more religious folks. I wonder how different our lives would be if all of us understood what it meant for all of us together to be the temple of God.